This was actually the very first Dalek I ever got as a kid. I was about four or five years old. Beautiful red Dalek. There's no wonder I love red so much. What is up everybody and welcome to another Doctor Who unboxing video here on my channel. In today's video we've got one, two, three boxes to get through. So without further ado, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section and let's have a look. Okay, so this first box here has actually just arrived in the mail, which means... Well, I actually think I know what it might be. It is from Eagle Moss, so we're going to find out exactly what it is, but uh, I've got an inkling, let's just say. So let's take a look and see what is inside of this box here. Of course, we have the notorious airbags, and then we have, and I'm really pleased to say, it is in... What seems to be really, really good condition. It is the Melka. Here it is. It's the latest special issue from Eagle Moss themselves. Of course, the Melka appeared in the Keeper of Trakan, disguised basically as the Master's TARDIS, which was such an amazing idea. Never saw it coming. So, really, really nice. I can't wait to get this one open. But that there is the Melka. In fact, you know what? Let's open it now and have a quick look. Okay, so here is the Melka looking absolutely exquisite. I would say it's going to be one of my favourites so far. But what I will say, it does seem to be kind of wonky. Like it's almost trying to face downwards. So can somebody please, who's already got this, in the comment section below, let me know if theirs is also a bit kind of... A bit wonky it just like I say it kind of looks like he's leaning forward it might supposed to be like that but I don't know it looks a bit strange but apart from that really nice and of course the magazine that always comes with these figures is always really good so so that's pretty much it for, for that box so let's take a look and see what's inside the other two okay so as you all know I've moved house and these boxes are boxes that I've basically packed up put stuff in and well we're about to find out exactly what it is that's in this relatively small box, but it looks pretty full. It looks pretty busy in here. So, the first thing we have here, which is very carefully wrapped in bubble wrap, of course, and it is a Dalek. Of course it's a Dalek. We love Daleks on this channel. This is actually a friction drive Daypole Dalek. It's based upon the, really on the 60s version of the Louis Marx Daleks. This Dalek is relatively... I would say small. It is bigger, obviously, than your standard size Daypole Dalek. And if I was to compare it next to the Melka, for example, you can see that it's uh, relatively kind of medium sized, let's say. One thing to note about these particular Daleks, the limbs here are in no way articulated. So please, if you ever buy one of these, just don't, don't even touch these things because they snap off so easily. As a kid, I was always snapping them off and having to get them super glued back on. So there's a little Dalek. Pretty awesome stuff. I've got a feeling this is going to be a Daypole box, so I hope you're a Daypole fan. So here we have Davros, and you may notice that this one doesn't have the painted hemispheres. This is unpainted. This hasn't been customised. This is the black plastic base. There's no paint on here whatsoever, and the underneath there is black as well. This is the prototype of the Daypole Davros, which you can actually see on the back of many of the Daypole Daleks in general, you see this one, for some reason, they've put the prototype picture on, and this is the prototype which I picked up a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It is pretty much unique. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that has one of these, so again, if there is, let me know in the comments down below. And then we have another Davros. This time, it's rare, but not super, super rare. It's the gold Davros. This is from the 35th, anniversary set of course which came with all sorts of lovely things but one of those lovely things was the gold plated blinged out Davros which is pretty cool and keeping with gold we have the Christmas 2000 you can just about see that hopefully Christmas 2000 K9 which is unbelievably rare generally these things sell for about 300 quid which is kind of crazy it is just K9 but he's painted in gold and well 
I don't buy just one of these things. You know me. I like to have a couple. So here we have the self-same K9 Christmas 2000 edition. They just look absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the last thing that's in this box is actually rather large. See if you can guess what it is. The glare is probably quite extreme here. But if I open it up, you can see that it is none other than the Daypole 25th Anniversary TARDIS console. And has it got batteries inside it? Mm, no, it hasn't. Okay, so the rotor there would normally go up and down, and there's two screens, but also lights up. It's a lovely addition. I, I love it. And they are pretty rare these days. It's obviously based on the 5th Doctor's TARDIS there. But uh, a lovely, lovely piece. Okay, so let's move on to the last box in this video, and I've got no idea what's going to be inside it. So, let's take a look, and oh yes, excellent stuff. Well, I can already see it. You may be able to see it. Okay, so here we go. What's inside of this box? More Daleks, of course. Now, oh dear. Oh fucking dear. These are the Daleks I was just showing you earlier. These are the friction drive Daleks. And as you can see, let's just take the light off of there a little bit. As you can see, unfortunately, this Dalek has an injury. These Daleks were mint condition when they went in. And unfortunately, it's actually snapped off. So we're going to have to get the glue out, ladies and gentlemen, and get that put back in again. It's an easy fix, but no longer... Unfortunately, is this Dalek in mint condition? I'm very sorry about that, Mr. Dalek. Now, that's one Dalek out of the box. So far, we're 100% damaged. So let's hope that the rest of these Daleks aren't damaged because they're quite expensive. They sell for about, well, about £30 on the old eBay. So here we have this one here. This was actually the very first Dalek I ever got as a kid. When I was about four or five years old. Beautiful red Dalek. There's no wonder I love red so much. So, yeah, what an absolute gem of a Dalek. And here we have another version of the self-same Dalek, just different colours. Now, what's kind of fun about these Daleks is there was no rhyme nor reason. They were just painted, well, not even painted, they were just kind of pulled out with different colour plastics. I mean, it's, it's fun. You can have fun with those, right? So, we have that one there. I'm kind of nervous now that the first one was broken, but here's another one. This was the second ever Dalek I ever got, but the only two that I remember having. So again, mint condition, a nice black Dalek there. And then we have another black Dalek, this time with a gold rim, which is pretty nice, liking that one. And then we have another red Dalek, but this time, again, slightly different. It's got the gray kind of tinge to it, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave him down here. And then we have a gold Dalek. Now this would of course belong in the gold part of my glass cabinet. But there is a nice gold style Dalek. Beautiful. Alongside him is another, oh dear, another broken one. This is another gold Dalek. Exactly the same as the one I've just pulled out. But as you can see, his appendages have fallen out. But... Do not fear, I'm pretty sure we can get these put back in again and there'll be no lasting damage. There we go, they do just click back in, thank goodness for that. And then we have another one, this time it's a kind of boring grey colour, but it's still a variant. There are many variants by the way, for example, here's another gold Dalek, but just look, there's a difference. This one has the black, which does look better. And then there's this one. So I don't actually know at this point how many of these variants there are. Here's one of my favourite variants. It's this one here. I think the colours pop. And you may have noticed that this one is actually kind of base for colours anyway. On the bump and go style Daleks. Which again are somewhere in this collection. Still boxed up. But I have some sad news. This is the last one. So luckily it ain't broken. So there it is, lovely grey silvery Dalek with the red kind of head there as well. So that is the box, 110% opened and emptied. I do hope you've enjoyed this unboxing Doctor Who video, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video about my Melka figure. If you've received one and him, he's kind of tilting this way, I'm looking at him now and he's kind of like, he's standing like this. 
So if your milker is standing like this, then let me know in the comments and then I know that mine isn't, you know, fucked. Excuse my French. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again for another Doctor Who video here on my channel. Until then, he needs to move out of the way. Until then, take care guys. I'll see you all soon. Somebody just beeped as I ended this video. Well done you. You're in the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.